All right, what is going on, guys? It's Adam and K. Marf, and this is Marfugal News. This is an important update. We're updating you on all of the craziness that is going on. Uh, of course, I've been following this since 5 a.m. Uh, when one of the, the, the first ships will actually ta uh, show you that. A ship got seized by Iran. Uh, there have been... Uh, drones launched. We'll cover that. There, uh, of course, we we wondered if they're timing this uh, to not only launch the very slow three-hour drones, but then to launch ICBMs. So there's a, a lot to go over in a short amount of time. But remember, all of the sources are over on marfuglenews.com. You can actually find a full bibliography of every single article, tweet, video, picture, document, including any videos or tweets or photos that we end up showing you. So that is available over there. All you have to do is look for today's thumbnail. Make sure to thank your mods that uh, made it today and uh, appreciate them for uh, making sure to uh, help out with the community. So before we get started, <coughs> just want to remind you guys, if you want to protect yourself against an EMP, it's one of the most probable things out there. Go to marfuglenews.com slash EMP uh, and make sure to use the code MARF. You get us credit, plus you get two, uh, $50 off per device, and you can end up... Uh, of course, getting all sorts of other perks when they have all, all sorts of other giveaways that go on over there. So make sure to check for current details. Uh, make sure to also go over and check out uh, marfuglenews.com for other details on other affiliates as well. Thank you guys for supporting. Otherwise, share our stuff out. As far as Iran attacks Israel and sends hundreds of drones. Uh, now, the, the drone launch happened and there were dozens and dozens and dozens of drones. And the worry was that they were going to launch the slow-moving drones to overwhelm the Iron Dome and then launch ICBMs or faster missiles and time it right to where they are busy trying to knock the drones out of the sky, then fast-moving missiles move in and poke right through it. Uh, they have already done several things in Israel, like limit events to 1,000 people. Uh, they have stopped all educational activities. So there's a lot going on. Uh, but th this, again, actually has a, a point here. This is one of the, the more verified substances of uh, examples of, of Iran uh, launching possible missiles as well. It says Iran launched hundreds of drones directly from its territory against Israel on Saturday night in a radical change from its usual use of proxies. The IDF has confirmed drones and missiles were reportedly launched from Yemen and other countries around the region. Iran has confirmed as well as its IRGC has begun its missile and drone attack against Israel. Israeli sources told ABC News that cruise missiles had been launched uh, from Iraq towards Israel. al Arabiya reported the U.S. was intercepting drones over Iraq in Syria. So first of all, that's two really big things. So on top of the drones that we know about, the slow-moving drones that, in fact, we don't know, they, they may be hitting at any moment now. Again, this is before the main drones hit. They take three hours to get there. They're being launched from very far. If those hit at the very exact time, uh, and then you have missiles that are launched from Iraq, say those are much faster, get there in, in a few minutes or uh, you know less than 15 minutes, those things end up poking through, then you could have mass destruction in Israel. Either way, the second big thing here is that they are saying that the U.S. was intercepting drones. If the, inter uh, if the interception is done by U.S., that means that the U.S. is getting involved. Iran put out a very specific warning to the U.S. If you get involved, you are involved. Uh, that is a scary thought considering how many sleeper cells we have in our own country. Uh, of course, people are kind of on edge since in Australia you've had a, a very strange event. You've had all of these weird events. But by the way, Australia, they still don't have a motive for that mall event that just happened. Uh, they don't know why these things are happening, why the, the truck ran into the safety depot, why 26 barges just went down uh, the Ohio River and, and bashed into dams, uh, why now dams are uh, all, of, all of a sudden having infrastructure problems, why bridges are getting hit, hit by cargo ships. All of these things, of course, are just usually software updates, right? But yeah, we're, we're smarter than that. Let's bring in my co-host slash internet brother, Dex James. What is going on and how are you doing today? Well, hello, Adam, and hello, Google fam. I'm doing just fine, but I'm getting uh, a little leery of what's going to happen here. I mean, one of the things that bothers me most about this is the fact that they launched from uh, Iranian soil. That was, if you remember, one of the messages that came from Netanyahu saying... 
we that they would respond directly if that happened. So if they launched from there, then they were going to respond, you know, ma- basically going after the nuke sites. But I'm sure there's any, anything's on the table right now. So if this is happening, which it is, um, that only means one thing. There's going to be yet another response. And when there's another response from is to Iran, then there's going to be yet another response. So this is just going to escalate into, as we called it last night, it started. The The conflict has begun at, at a much larger, wider scale. Now, what's being pictured is supposedly, and I got this, uh, this one was sent to me by Ilea, uh, Iranian ballistic missiles flying over Iraq from War Monitor over on Twitter. Uh, now, this, uh, there's no way for me to verify this. There's no landmarks or anything else. Uh, but if this is true that this is uh, ballistic missiles, this was one of the key you know points that we were wondering before they ever said anything in official uh, sites about uh, ballistic missiles being fired everybody was talking about drones the drones are one thing the iron dome i believe can handle you know 99% of the drones they're slow moving uh, they're much easier to take down but if you are taking those down at the same time cuz they are extremely dangerous as well you you can have bigger drones you can have bigger drones with large large explosives on them uh, if you're taking those down and then you have fast moving objects happening at the same time, that's a lot harder. And I bet you they're trying to do some damage here. I'm sure they're not just trying to waste money and, and throw things at the Iron Dome. Maybe they're like, ah, well, we wanted to hurt their pocket, but I highly doubt it. Uh, so it would make sense if, if anybody, have, if us regular people can figure out that if they're going to send slow moving drones and send fast moving missiles to poke through at the same time, then they probably figured it out too. Uh, this is, by the way, U.S. getting involved here. This is really scary, folks, and people need to get prepped. We've been telling you for five years. It's going to be uh, very quickly apparent that all of this was coming the entire time. People tried to deny it. People tried to put it as a taboo. This is going to go down. Uh, as far as World War Three is started, uh, this is it, it, there's no shock here. Now, to talk about some of the the defensive systems here, of course, everybody knows about the Iron Dome. The Iron Dome, of course, it first developed in 2011 and widely considered to be one of the most advanced air defense systems in the world. The Iron Dome is designed to intercept short-range rockets and artillery. So you could see how this uh, how this system is broken up. It says it consists of batteries that have multiple launchers, each of which can hold up to 20 Tamir interceptors. So there is a limit to how many they have sitting around. If we've obviously seen video and pictures of Iran, and Iran has these massive, massive stores of tens and tens of thousands of larger, small missiles, large ICBMs, all sorts of stuff. Uh, And interceptors are capable of engaging projectiles from 40 miles away. So before they can even see it, they are launching out and going and getting it. There's also David's Sling, which it's crazy they name them these, uh, considering it's a obviously has biblical meaning, Israel. Uh, but David's Sling is the next layer of Israel's air defense network, and its deployment on Friday marks one of the only the few times that the system has been used since it became operational in 2017. Also known as the, quote, magic wand, it fires an interceptor called the Stunner, which doesn't have a warhead to defeat medium to long range rockets and missiles of a range of up to 185 miles. The David Sling system includes a missile firing unit, a fire control uh, radar, a battle management station, and the interceptor. Earlier this year, Finland, NATO's newest member, said it approved the purchase of the system in a bid to boost its security. So they say that this strengthens a lot of their aerial defense uh, as far as kind of in the gaps, right? And then there's the aero system. So they have a really advanced system defending their skies. So if we see damage, that means they are throwing everything they possibly can at this thing. Aero is the upper layer of Israel's air defense network consisting of aero systems. Uh, it says, according to the Center for Strategic and International Studies, CSIS, a Washington-based think tank, Aero 2 has uh, was first deployed in 2000 and was later followed by Aero 3 in 2017. Both types of systems use two-stage solid-fueled interceptors to engage targets like short- and medium-range ballistic missiles in the upper atmosphere. So these are all different layers of this uh, sky defense. 
and they each include a launcher radar and battle management system. The, so obviously Israel has a lot of uh, enemies and they have been in a lot of conflicts. So it is no you know, coincidence that they have some of the best air defense or aerial defenses in the world because there's constantly something flung their way. Uh, but it's also a very important location uh, as far as religion goes. It is extremely important to many around the world. So as far as protecting it, it's a big deal. So when you see damage, when you see a huge, huge chunk of damage done to Israel, it is a giant deal because it is getting through all three of these systems and systems that we probably don't even know about that are being tested. We know that they were going to add laser systems, but I don't think that those got put in yet because of testing or something like that. But who knows? They could have, of course, you know, X-Files type freaking stuff there uh, that's being tested right now. And then JB, our president, has cut his weekend short, obviously. I mean, like, w would you continue golfing while all of this stuff is going on? And I don't know if he was on a golf trip this time, but he was at a beach weekend. And it's so crazy to me that I understand that the president has a really tough job. And probably while he's at the beach, they're like, hey, sign this. But really, the president is a face. <laughs> uh, most of the time, it's a face to advisors. He's got 30 advisors working under him that are all basically doing the stuff for him. Uh, other presidents try to be more hands-on, but we've even seen the presidents that are completely hands-on, they try to do things, and there's 20 different people trying to not let them do that. So even if you wanted to take charge as a president, there are 50 people in your way that could stop you from even making a difference or even you know putting a, a drop in the bucket. So, but with this, it's like he's, he's leaving the beach. Uh, Dex, so by the way, there's rumors about what this is about do you want to explain that like if it, it, we know he's it, it's confirmed yeah yeah so it's confirmed that he went back right that's that's all happened but then it's, it came out that he was going to address the nation then he came back out later and said no he's not and there's a press lit on it um but right now on x there's numerous reports coming in that some of these uh drones or missiles are actually in the airspace and they're hearing explosions in uh, in and around Israel. So they're now saying the attack has hit or is hitting. So there's numerous reports of explosions and sirens are sounding in the area. So that's the current update. Now, mind you, again, stuff comes out on X a lot faster um, than we'll get uh, full confirmation from, say, any of the media outlets. So just take it with a grain of salt, but it is more than likely the, the truth at this stage. And then a container was shipped, uh, a container ship was hijacked near the Strait of Hormuz. Is this not a setup for a fantastic Freddy if you've ever seen one? It says, well, Israel on Friday braced for a cruise missile and dra uh, uh, take yourself out drone attack. There are new reports on Saturday morning that Iranian commandos hijacked an Israeli affiliated container ship heading towards the Strait of Hormuz. I mean, like, they, they did threaten to close down the Strait of Formoose if anything happened. Uh, and now there, there of course, is video of them hijacking this ship. So check this out. This is a, uh, a clip that's been going all around of the ship essentially being uh, hijacked. Who, How they got the footage of it, I'm assuming somebody on board. Uh, you see a helicopter. This is the, the video that's gone basically everywhere. Uh, so... Now, uh, with with uh, cargo ships, things like this, when you're you're actually getting involved with the <laughs> taking people's money too, like they, everything is being affected right now. So this is only going to get worse. And I wish I could say, well, we hope that it's all going to get better. This is going to escalate. Uh, if the U.S. is truly knocking stuff out of the sky, because it sounds like they may even need to help Israel with their systems. If, if their arrow, their David sling and their Iron Dome does not hit stuff out of the sky, then they are literally going to have to step in. And that also means that they are getting directly involved. They are knocking Iranian missiles out of the sky. Uh, so, yeah. This is not looking good.
uh, again, the most probable scenario is that we would have some sort of cyber attack. It might be that we've already had all of these events going on in the U.S., uh, smaller events, but, you know, they're, they're chatter about big events that make 2001 look like chicken feed. And what's just so crazy is that the FBI is saying this now. Our former president told us back when Soleimani was taken out that Iran was planning this massive, massive plan that made 2001 look like chicken feed. Now what are we hearing? Fast forward, you hear they, they say uh, the chatter's worse than it was back in 2001. I mean, it, even if you believe it's all orchestrated, well, I, I gosh, the, the show Fallout, really, uh, if you've watched that all the way through or if you played the game through, then you know like the kind of the ending of that. But um, I don't know if it's in the game the same way, but essentially there's a fiduciary responsibility to uh, keep this war going. So I hope that uh, that these rich bigwigs that are making so much money off of the military industrial complex, I'm sure that they have their bunkers set up and everything, but I, I do hope that they grow a heart and realize that uh, just because they'll be safe, uh, that, that that it's not okay to start a war. All right, um, Dex, thank you so much for helping me today. Appreciate you. Absolutely. Much love. And Chicky R, uh, Chicky R, thank you. And Shield Maiden for Christ says, thanks for these updates. Just want to share out Rebecca Bar Sif. Uh, it's an Israeli uh, YouTuber. Let's see here. Uh, who has been sharing her perspectives on current events. I will check her out. I don't know her, so I can't vouch for her, but uh, I will check her out for sure. Shield Maiden, thank you. And Chicky R, thank you. All of you guys have a wonderful day. Thank your mods. Go over to marfuglenews.com slash friends. And of course, click here to see our last show. We always put the most pertinent video right here, so click on that now. Have a good night, be safe, be prepared, and marf out, and pray for all of our safety.